Studio Stampers and Crafters. My name is Tammy White from StampWithTammy.com and today's an exciting day because it is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's January blog hop. Our theme this month is Valentine's Day. Today's how-to video is for my blog hop project which is a Valentine's Day gift set. It is a Sew in Love card and gift box from the Stampin' Up! Sew in Love Suite. I'm going to show you how to make these and you're going to want to stay tuned to the end because we have a blog hop giveaway and you're going to want to click over to my blog one so you can get the free PDF tutorial on these awesome projects and two so you can take the Valentine's Day tour of all of our groups awesome Valentine's Day projects and their projects are always amazing. If you've ever done one of our blog hop tours in the past or if you're the one that's on the edge of your seat every month waiting for it to be posted, you know you are in for a treat. These girls are so talented. Alright, let's get started. So here's our little gift set up close. It is super, super easy to make. These are very, very cool. These are created with the Sew and Love products that are on page 52 of the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog so awesome. I'm going to show you how to make it. I also have a free PDF on my blog and you can get to it simply by going to the link in the description of this video. If you're on YouTube it's below and if you're on Facebook it's above and you can just simply click there get the free PDF. You can take the blog hop tour and enter to win the giveaway. So I put in these Valentine's Day Hershey Kisses. They are so cute. You could put any candies in there and I'll also put the details of this little bonus box on my blog as well. These little candy treats were actually created with the Stampin' Up! Clear Tin treat boxes. These are flipping awesome. So they're so quick and easy. And they come in a pack of 16. So we'll be creating the card in the box together so we'll just do all the big shot work at once. Let's go. Okay we're using the Sew and Love stamp set and the matching Sew Detailed Thinlets. You get a little discount when you purchase these together in my online store. This is the die that we'll be using. We have the Big Shot die cut machine with the platform that comes with it and the thin die adapter that also comes with it. Precision base plate. Our cardstock, our die, and one cutting pad on top. We're going to need to repeat this step three times because we'll need three of these bands. And just crank that through. And then once it comes off the Big Shot, I'm going to take the die brush and mat and just poke these out. I happen to have mine in a half sized wood case just to hold all the scraps. I'll put the information of this on my blog as well too. It also stores the two pieces together nicely. And that just pops out and our piece is just beautiful. That's how simple it is. So we need three of those. So here's our three bands for our projects. While we have them out, we can go ahead and start our stamping. I'm using the Smoky Slate ink pad and I'm stamping Sew so in Love from the Sew so in Love stamp set <laughs> right in the center of each one. Then I've got a Blushing Bride ink pad and paper here. I'll take a little piece of scrap paper and put it underneath there because I plan on stamping off the edge. I'm taking the uh, beautiful outline flower image and just going to stamp that randomly around the background. I'm intentionally going off the edge and then we just have some assembly. Super easy. So I'm also adding in some of the designer paper. This designer paper is called Falling in Love. I've cut mine up a little bit, but I'll just show you some of the designs here are just beautiful. This one's a nice pretty lace pattern. They're double sided. I love this bouquet background. Just beautiful paper. So we'll actually be using this really soft bouquet and bouquet is spelled B-O-K-E-H <laughs> style background. Again, the measurements are on my blog. So I'll use snail to attach these three panels together for the card. So then I'll be using Stampin' Dimensionals to attach our lace band to that top panel and then we'll use Dimensionals again to attach this panel to our card base. And for the final step, we'll add the embellishments. These are metal rimmed pearls. So pretty. I'm going to use the large ones. I think I used the medium sized on the original, but I think they all are pretty. And 
and those just peel and stick. They just, the backing just peels off and they stick down. And the card part is complete. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And so easy to make. Now let's assemble our box. We're taking one of the tiny treat boxes. These have a little protective film that you want to peel off. And then it literally just folds in. These are available in my online store as well. So that's the naked box. I'm going to take another strip of that same paper from the Falling in Love series and some, I'm actually just using snail adhesive to attach it to the box. It seemed to work quite well. And a bone folder. And we're just going to lay the box down on the paper and just at each fold of the box take your bone folder and place a score line. Last but not least, we will go ahead and attach our floral lace bands. I just put snail adhesive on the back of the solid sections. And that goes right around the front. And these just match these boxes perfectly. The shape is spot on for these boxes. So the sides just perfect fit. And it looks the same from the front and the back. And then just fill it with your yummy candy, whatever that may be. I've got the Valentine Hershey Kisses today. Mwah! Little, little kiss for you. And the last step is the matching blushing bride satin ribbon, which I think is gorgeous. I'm just going to tie that around the top. And it's the exact same color as the cardstock and ink that we used, so everything matches perfectly. One more reason why I love Stampin' Up! The quality is the best and the color is awesome. Everything matches. So just tie that in a little bow and trim off the excess. And that is it. Our projects are complete. Can you believe how quick and easy that was? It's a perfect set for Valentine's Day. You can make these so easy and quick. All of these supplies are available in my online store. I've got a couple of bonus projects for you. This is just a clear tiny treat box with the Blushing Bride satin ribbon and nothing else. And look at how gorgeous that is. Add a little tag and it's perfect. Again, another quick, easy treat. And my inspiration was from my friend Kathy who designed these for me for a recent um, card swap I just did. This was the original card that I worked off of um, Kathy's design when I created the set for this project today. Absolutely beautiful, very similar. I'll have pictures of this and the little bonus box as well on my blog. All right, let's hear about that giveaway. Weren't they super fun and super easy to make? Okay, now for that giveaway. This month we are giving away the Stampin' Up! Watercolor Wishes card kit, which is this fantastic kit. It's an all-inclusive kit. It comes with the stamp set. It comes with everything you need to make these gorgeous cards. You can win it absolutely free, no purchase necessary, simply by leaving a comment on any of the blog hop blog posts with the hashtag stamp it contest and it's real important that you leave that hashtag with no spaces stamp it contest because that's how we search one entry per person per blog and you can enter on every single blog for multiple chances to win i'll be drawing the winner on february 18th and announcing it on our blogs and in my winner circle on the stampatammy.com blog and if you're watching this after the deadline don't worry just simply pop on over to my blog and click on my specials page and there you can see all of my current giveaways Thanks for joining me today.